Hey guys, good morning. It is me, Christy Lee. It is Wednesday, and can I just rant for a second? I really, really need to, and this is the place I'm choosing to do it. So, we get up this morning, a little earlier than normal, because um, Eric's got to meet someone uh, at a store to get a ride to work, um, to make sure that we can go and do everything we need to do before meeting them. So we have to go to a McDonald's to get coffee. And we get there, this place is notoriously slow, we know that, but this morning, there's only two people in line when we get there. So we pull up to the little drive through thingy and jigger bobber and we sit 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 and nobody's coming on the intercom or anything. So Eric's getting pretty aggravated. I'm getting aggravated mostly because he's aggravated and because we both don't want him to be late for his ride because otherwise he can't get to work today. Um, so we decide to go inside. There was one person inside, two people on the line, one person actually drove off just after we got inside. So that's two customers that they were dealing with. We thought maybe they're underhanded, shorthanded, shorthanded, and they're just having trouble. But we go in and they're fully staffed. There are two people inside that are not um, ordering anything, but they're talking to all the employees, joking around. They're talking about looking at each other's butts and stuff like that. And we're inside the McDonald's for another five or seven minutes before they actually acknowledge us and ask us what we're going to order. So we order, then she's running around doing all kinds of stuff for God knows what, I don't know. Uh, there was one person waiting at the window and the other person that had been inside was already helped and done right after we came inside. So it was just three of us. A fully staffed McDonald's and it took us 20, was it 20, 25 minutes to get two coffees? That really, really, really irritates me. I just sometimes I feel like they just don't care anymore and they don't take into consideration that people who come in that early, it's not, usually it's not because they wake up super early going, hey, I want to go to McDonald's. Usually it's because they have to go to work and they should be a little quicker. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I know there's, there's a few, um, what's the politically correct term for homeless people who stand around and beg for money? There's a lot of those there. I, I, that sounds really mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I understand that things happen and everybody has their own situations going on. And I know that at any point in time, that could be me. That could be us at any point in time. I realize that. But you've got three customers, at least, at least five employees working. What's taking so long? I don't get it. And then, okay, so we, every single morning, we order these coffees the exact same way. So I know it's not the way that we're ordering the coffees because every other day, Eric's always happy with his coffee usually. I occasionally get a little upset because they used to put too much creamer or not enough sugar, but I've taken care of all of that. I've, I've eliminated any issues there and, and I, it's been going great every morning since then. Well. He gets five creams and ten sugars, and I get 15 sugars, and usually a cream on the side. So we get our coffees, we're rushing over to the store to make sure he's not late, and then he goes to take a sip of his coffee. He says, I think this is yours. It's really too sweet. So I take a sip of it, and it's too sweet for me, and I take a lot of sugar. This was like syrup. It was disgusting. Like, I didn't even want to swallow it. So... That's aggravating after waiting 20 minutes to get your coffee, stressing out about having to run late, paying, I mean, they upped their prices. They used to be a dollar for a large coffee. That was awesome. Now they're a dollar 50 at that location, a dollar 40 at other locations, a dollar 30 at other locations. I, I never know. But dollar 50 for that. So for both of us to get a coffee, it was 3.20, 3.19 really. Um, and then I get in the car to drink my coffee and mine is just as sweet. It's disgusting, but there's nothing I can do about it now. And so he's, we started our morning off just completely grumpy, 
and now our coffee's messed up. I am a self-proclaimed coffee snob. I realized I had this epiphany about two months ago while I was at work and I was having a bad day because my coffee had been made for me wrong three or four hours earlier. Um, I'm very, very particular about my coffee. There is a certain flavor I'm going for and if it's not right, I get cranky. <laughs> Which is why, oh, I can't say that. I'm be giving too much away. Anyway, so I'm drinking it black because I know if I put any creamer in this, it's just going to make it that much worse. And I'm just going to deal with the oversweetened coffee. I feel like there should be like sugar crystals forming on my lips from how sweet this stuff is. Normally, the issue is that they don't put enough sugar in, so I find myself asking for extra sugar on the side or I sometimes carry sugar in my purse so that I can add it. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to rant a little bit about my issues with McDonald's. It seems like they just keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and it's driving me crazy. I've tried reaching out to McDonald's. I have called the general manager. They were going to talk to the manager at the store, which makes no difference because I've seen her. She works alongside of her employees and she is just as bad and you know how some uh, managers they it doesn't matter what the customer says they're gonna stick up for their employees which can be good if it's your manager and maybe you have a customer who's complaining and it's not I don't know I mean it can be good but it can be bad um, so yeah that's my rant and then I come home and I have to tell you stray chickens are just as bad as stray cats Every morning when I come home after taking Eric to work, we have five stray cats outside that we feed. Fokker technically isn't really a stray because Eric's brother did drop him off here um, and he did stay inside with us for a while, but he's been an outside cat for quite some time now. Um, and then there are four other cats that we feed and Mama Cat has four kittens right now that are too young for us to feed. But we will be, I'm sure, feeding those. Um, we really, really need to get all of them fixed. Um, and hopefully, someday soon, we'll be able to do that. Uh, but for right now, not much I can do. Even the low-cost veterinary care, there's a fee. And I just, I can't. Um, so anyway, I come home in the morning. All the cats see my truck. And they start running towards my truck. Because food. And we can't get in the front door without feeding them because... <laughs> If we don't feed them before we walk in the front door, they're all going to storm in the house. And we had a huge fight with fleas the last time Mama Cat had babies. She, I let her in the house one night because it was freezing cold and she gave birth on our chair. And we let her stay in until the kittens were old enough to be weaned and to go back out, outside with her. And we had a huge flea problem. It took us two weeks to get rid of. They're all taken care of. We don't want that again. So they'll rush in the door if we don't feed them first. Well, as soon as now, as soon as the chickens see me pull up, they all come out of the woodworks. Like, no kidding, out of the woodworks. There's a cow field over there that they come running out of. There's some trees and some bushes. They come from across the street over there. And they're just all clucking and running. And the roosters are crowing. And they're just going nuts because they know, they know I'm about to feed the cats. And they love cat food. I just, <laughs> they love cat food. So I try to toss some out, but they eat them so fast. So now I'm dealing with the, the cats. Some of the cats are terrified of the chickens. And they try to run in the house to get away from the chickens. And the chickens and the cats are all eating off of this big plate of food. I tried to get some footage for you guys this morning, but it was way too dark. And my phone just doesn't pick up light at all. That's why I have to have these lamps, like, literally right here in my face. So he wouldn't be able to see me. Um... I wanted to say thank you. I had some really nice compliments on my videos. Um, one of my viewers or, or someone, I guess, I don't know if you're new or, or I don't know, um, said that he enjoys, or she, he, I'm pretty sure it's a he, enjoys watching my videos because it's kind of like hanging out with a friend type vibe. And that's like one of the best compliments I could ever get. That's exactly what I want you to feel like when you're here with me because to me, even though I'm staring at a phone 
and a little tidy lens thing. I feel like I am hanging out with all of you guys. I feel like I'm talking to you. And that's what makes it so special for me. Um, and I also saw that another one of my viewers has visited my Facebook page. Yay! My uh, YouTube channel Facebook page. And that makes me happy too. Um, and there are some other comments I haven't been able to read yet this morning. But I will get to those. And I will respond to each and every one as long as there is room for a response. Um, Alright, I guess that's it. That's my rant. That's my 10 minute video. I know I make them too long. And I'm sorry. Well... I'm sort of sorry. I kind of like it. I kind of like talking. Nah. Okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to try to drink my coffee and relax a little bit before I have to go into work. I work today, tomorrow, and then I'm off for Friday and Saturday again, I believe, which is really, really nice. Um, I don't know if Eric is going to be off work this weekend or not, but if he is, maybe we'll do some, I'll do, we'll do some metal detecting and I'll actually like show footage and kind of do a review of the metal detector that we have um, or we'll figure out something we'll do something I've got some stuff I'm expecting in the mail I actually went on Amazon again I know I always say okay this is the end of the video and I keep talking I'm sorry I think I, I grew up with my Nana doing that every time we're on the phone and she says alright I'll talk to you later she starts a whole new conversation at least three times and then chances are she's gonna call back twice after that so I've kind of <laughs> it's just kind of instilled in me. Um, I went back on Amazon last night and actually purchased two additional items. Um, one of them is specifically for this YouTube channel. I'm kind of excited about that. It's going to be for a challenge video. I'm going to challenge Eric to do this with me, so that should be fun. Um, and if I haven't mentioned it, I know I was talking about saving those Amazon gift cards up for a computer and or a camera, but after some careful consideration, um, finding those laptops for free on the side of the road and hooking those up, I remembered why I stopped being able to edit my videos on my laptop before it broke. It had nothing to do with um, me not having a laptop. I remembered before mine broke. I stopped doing it because once we lost our home internet connection, I was using my phone as a hotspot and it's just not strong enough for whatever reason for me to edit my videos. It it takes way too long to load. Sometimes it crashes the the editor. I it, it just doesn't work. And I would like to get a new camera to get better quality videos to be able to take you know you guys along with me for the lighting it is, I know cameras real cameras would be able to pick the lighting a little, a little bit better um, but then I would have to save all of that footage into a computer and then be able to edit that footage on on uh, with an editor and as far as the the laptop that I found I cannot add any new software programs to it it just won't it won't work for some reason um, so I would have to get a new computer and a new camera in order to be able to do that and then I would need a stronger internet um, connection to be able to edit it so I feel like for the time being this is working well enough um, so I went ahead and used those Amazon gift cards not all of it I still have I think about a hundred bucks left on there I think I was at 287 before I went shopping, um, but I did get a lot of things that we really need, and well, a lot. I did get a few things that we really need, and some a few things that um, we would like to have. Um, so I feel like I feel like it's okay, and everything's gonna work out. Okay, so there's my video. If you stayed till now. I'm going to give you a secret word because I want to know if you stayed till now. So the secret word is snuffleupagus. Sure. I don't care if you spell it right. Just if you stay till now, this is almost a 15 minute long video and I know that most people will not stay till now. So if you did stay and watch the entire video, type in the comment box below or even on my Facebook page for my YouTube channel, snuffleupagus. Or, or, yeah, okay. Or you could just say, I did. <laughs> That's easier. All right, I'm going now. All right, all right, all right. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.